Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, an awesome place to learn Photoshop, the best place to learn Photoshop. We got hundreds of classes literally on Photoshop on every topic you can think of. And today we're going to do a tutorial that is a tutorial and a plug for the Photoshop World Conference. So my buddy Jim Workman sends me a shot. He takes his, his iPhone, takes a photo of this brochure. This was the brochure 19 years ago, the very first Photoshop World Conference. And it was in Orlando at the Orange County Convention Center. And we are actually still doing Photoshop World. We are, so it's the 19th anniversary this year. And we are doing it in Orlando still, uh, but this time at the Hyatt next door that's con con connected to the convention center because it's nicer and better. All right, so I want to fix this thing. He sent it to me. I thought, well, this is like an historical document. So I, I want to fix it. You can see there's Jim's head in the reflection and all there. I, th I think we can fix this up pretty well. Let's now, I, before I start fixing this, I just want to tell you this tutorial is for like, intermediate level like Photoshop people. So if you're brand new to Photoshop, this really isn't a beginner's tutorial. This is for people who kind of know their way around because I'm going to zip through this and not explain every single thing as I'm going for that where a beginner would, would get it. So just giving you a heads up, this is more for the intermediate level Photoshop user. Uh, let's go to the camera raw filter to start off because we'll do most of it there. And to start off, I'm going to go grab up here to the transformations, uh, the transform panel. And I'm going to use this thing at the end called guided upright because I can just draw lines and say straighten where these lines are. So there's one and that's crooked as heck. And this is crooked as heck. And boom, that did a pretty good job. Let's straighten this out. It should be kind of like that, right? And at the bottom, uh, the bottom line looks pretty straight, really. I think the bottom is actually okay. I don't even know if it needs another line, but yeah, sure, we just did it. So that's that's kind of close. This is there's a little bit of a problem here. We'll deal with that once we're done inside of here. Let's go there and and let's. There's also really a bad color cast. Let's get rid of that. Let's get the eyedropper tool to click on something that's supposed to be gray. The artwork that you see here, done by a brilliant Photoshop artist, Doug Gornick, did that and just quite amazing guy and amazing artist. So let's uh, get the color kind of more looking right there. But it's really, really washed out. Now we could just hit the auto button here and uh, that didn't do awesome. So let's go and hit increase the contrast. Let's uh, let's do let's, uh, raise the whites and lower the blacks quite a bit, kind of get it looking better. Add a little clarity to bring out some detail and uh, pull maybe the highlights back a little bit. We're clipping a little bit in the yellow and red channels and maybe darken the whole thing over a little bit. Those blacks are kind of not black up there, so I'm going to crush those blacks down a little bit more. Also, now where Jim's head is, you got a nice thick black down there, and then over here it turns to kind of a grayish mush. So I'm going to get the adjustment brush. Let's lower the exposure, and I'm going to kind of paint over that area, and let's see if we can make it kind of match the rest a little bit better. That's better. Up top, this all kind of looks washed out. Let's go ahead and get that as well. And that's better. And uh, that looks pretty good. Let's click OK. I mean, we still got some work to do, but that's certainly a step in the right direction. Let's get the crop tool. It's going to crop in the sides and get rid of some of the bending of the paper and that stuff. And we can bring this down a bit. And that's a little bit better. Uh, two things that are kind of funky. Do you notice this line here that's kind of supposed to be straighter? If you look here, we'll put this on it. And if you look closely, see that line is off. So we're going to have to kind of fix that. I'm going to unlock the background layer by clicking on the lock over here. Let me put, think get rid of this guide so you can see. I'm going to get rid of this lock over here. Just click on it and it unlocks that layer. So I can go to free transform. And then in free transform, I could literally just maybe hold the command key and just pull this down and get a little straighter like that. That's actually quite a bit better. And I think the bottom could maybe come down a hair like that too. Just trying to get this line kind of straighter. It's not perfect. It's a little better. And then now we got to kind of fill in these gaps up here. So let's flatten the image. Let's get the tragic wand. We're going to click in that white area up there. And I want to use content aware fill, but I'm going to expand before I do that. You get better results. Select, modify, and expand. If you're going, gosh, he's going so fast. I can't get, I don't know what he's doing. That's because, like I said, you, <laughs> you have to be kind of an intermediate level user to follow this one here. Let's go expand it by four pixels. 
and then we fill and click content aware that should fix those problems there now one thing you could do and it was total cheating but we could do it if you wanted that line to be super straight just go and draw a black line just go down here draw a new black line fill with black that should do it and there's a little kind of a grayishness in here too let's go back to that adjustment brush in camera raw and let's just kind of paint over that whole area to just make it a bit darker whoops we don't want to spill over everything like we just did it's just kind of darken in that area now you can see another problem that all this has created the type looks dingy right it looks like a dingy color so let's do this let's duplicate the layer let's switch to screen mode so the the type will be nice and bright right but it doesn't look really good so let's hold the option key on mac the alt key on windows and click the layer mask icon so we've hidden the brighter letters behind this mask then we can grab the brush with white and paint over those letters and make them not dingy and yellow and all look and we can just kind of make those letters pop a bit better and we'll just stay away from the other parts and we'll go down to the bottom where it's looking pretty dingy here too and brighten that up, brighten up world, brighten up 99, brighten up the subhead here and the detail there. All right, so we're looking better, and I think we still need some stuff. Let's flatten this. And this is a little funky on this side. I think this side looks pretty good. This is a little not awesome. So uh, what we could do is try to bend that down a little bit. Uh, just kind of the same way we did earlier. Click on the icon, go to uh, the free transform, and just pull that down just a tiny bit so it doesn't look. And if you really wanted to work on it, because now it's kind of bending, you could go to warp and maybe just pull that side that's falling down up just a hair. Like that's a little better. See how it's kind of. And then you're going to need to use free uh, the fill. Uh, let's uh, content aware fill this again. Span by four pixels, content aware fill, and I think we're going to be in fairly good shape. Yep, let's just go apply some sharpening, a whole bunch of sharpening, and I think there's our image right there. And let's go ahead and do a before and after here so you can kind of see. Here's the before that Jim sent me on his phone, and here's the after, after kind of fixing things up. So if you wanted to keep a version, you wouldn't really want to keep that version. Probably rather keep this version. I think I might add a little more black. We might have cropped that a little too close at the bottom. So let's go and add a little bit of space on the bottom. Let's make it relative. So maybe it's a half an inch. And we'll fill it with black. Let's go see at the bottom how that looks. Except for I didn't add it to the bottom, did I? Let's go back here and say add it to the height. Let's add an inch of black there we go looks a little better down there a little more breathing room all right guys so that's just kind of a quickie uh, for today and again for intermediate level users so you would be able to keep up and, and follow along hey uh photoshop world is coming up by the way here in orlando uh this summer may 31st june 1st and 2nd in orlando florida at the hyatt regency they have a beautiful convention center Actually, more beautiful than the <coughs> Orange County Convention Center. So, come over and join us. Come now, and you can get the early bird special. You can probably still snag a room at the Hyatt. Stay right there where the staff and instructors are staying. You will love it. You will learn more in three days than you have in three years. So, come and check it out. That's PhotoshopWorld.com for all the details. My name's Scott Kelby. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you guys next time.